right guys, so all of these autographs that you are about to see, I've either obtained in person through conventions and uh, you know just meeting these people in person in general, and every single one of these autographs are 100% legit. And I've been collecting autographs for a while to where I know where to go and where not to go. I've done older videos explaining where um, I've messed up in the beginning of my autograph collecting days, but um, now it's, you know, so much easier to do. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy I have what I have. So um, it really depends on the person you're looking for. <laughs> Some of these autographs I have, I got before certain people passed away, obviously. Um, and then other ones I've obtained through friends of mine. So yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be a fun video because some of these autographs are crazy amazing. I've only got a few signed like toy related items, but um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with like the movies as far as like DVDs and Blu-rays go. Um, so the first one here, I got this uh, when I went to California I went to Power Morph Con 2016 and they actually had the actor, it was a suit actor, uh, for Godzilla in the Millennium Era. And that right there is the autograph. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but that um, is signed in silver Sharpie and he signed it right there. Um, I totally forgot the guy's name. <laughs> I'm not good with names, but he was the suit actor in this movie. Um, one of these specifically. I think he was in Tokyo SOS, not Final Wars. That's why he signed over Tokyo SOS. But um, yeah, that was really cool to get. The next one here, I got through my friend Wet Movie 1 helped me get this signed by the cast of Mortal Kombat. He went to an event that was held and uh, Paul W.S. Anderson, the director of the movie, um, Linda Nashby, who played Johnny Cage, Robin Shu, who played uh, Liu Kang, and uh, Chris Kismaza, who played Scorpion, all signed this Blu-ray right here. So, yeah, very, very happy to have that as a nostalgic piece in my uh, 90s collection there. This one I got recently. Actually, this is my most recent autograph, and I've showed it off already. But this is a copy of The Room on Blu-ray signed by Tommy Wiseau. <sighs> Say what you will about this movie they're all true but it is really cool to have Tommy Wiseau's autograph um mostly because I'm a huge fan of the movie The Disaster Artist and it's based on his you know creation of this film this movie is so bad but it's so bad it's good and I just had to have this personalized signature from him this is great this is probably one of my favorite and favorites in my collection one of because as soon as you see all this other stuff you're gonna be like wait yeah comment below and tell me when you guys are done watching the video which one of these autographs in my collection is your favorite after what you've seen so there's so much going on here um anyway next one obviously I'm a big power ranger fan so i i got this signed at power morphicon as well signed by um and the guy who voiced diabolico as well as allison mckinnis who was the pink ranger um so yeah, I didn't. I, I was a little ambitious, hoping at some point I'd be able to get this signed by the whole cast, but it's been so long, I really just gave up on it. Um, but yeah, maybe one day. Um, I got this signed by Tim Allen. Um, I'm a big fan of Home Improvement. I also love, of course, I grew up with Toy Story and uh, a few other things that he was in. So, I mean, Jesus, the guy's Santa Claus, for God's sake. He is the face of Santa for me, so I was really happy you know to get that signed this is a vhs i got signed right here for uh, beetleborgs and it's signed by billy forrester who played flabber this is actually one of my earliest autographs here um but it says to, to cody stay flab ugh, stay flabulous and he drew a little little sketch of uh of flabber down there which is really cool i like that and i, I keep this on my shelf um, with my Fox Kids collection over there. This one I got at San Diego Comic-Con 2016. This is a, a Blu-ray uh, that they only gave away at the, con the convention when you went to the Fox booth. And Ryan Reynolds signed every single one that was sold there. So I do have Deadpool's autograph. And uh, this is one of my 
really cool like uh, icebreaker pieces. Uh, people love Ryan Reynolds. They love Deadpool. And I, they think it's really cool to have this. And I still have this wrapped in its original cellophane. And then I double wrapped it in a, a plastic uh, you know, sleeve. So that's pretty awesome. Um, all right, next up. Yes, it's a book. <laughs> it's what's inside the book. This book is signed by the man himself, R.L. Stein, right there. I am a huge fan of Goosebumps. I grew up on these books when I was a kid, um, and I, I, I just had to have his autograph. He's one of my most influential uh, pieces of my childhood, and um, The Haunted Mask actually was the book that I loved the most. I loved the episode from the show as well, so yeah, this, this was a big deal when I got this. It was crazy. I had a friend of mine help me get that at one point, and he was doing free signing, so my friend was just like, yeah, send your book over. I'll get it signed for you. And he did. It's pretty cool. Um, what's next? Okay, so this is like the last like media thing. So there's a convention held every year uh, here in Huntsville called the Huntsville Comic and Pop Culture Expo. And I went to the very first convention, I believe, um, back in like 2013, 14, something like that. And, uh, yeah, I was able to get Joey Fatone to sign my NSYNC CD. Don't make fun of me. NSYNC is a big part of the 90s. And I remember having the cassette for this. And everybody in school was doing the Bye 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 dance. So, yeah, I got Joey Fatone's autograph. I got a really badass interview with him for my 90s page as well. So it was definitely worth uh, the experience. And the guy's really chill. He's a very nice guy. Told me some insider secrets about Justin and Brittany go into that <laughs> um and then I also got some other things over here that are like I said I got a couple toys well Funko Pops uh, so um I don't think some of these things are on their site anymore uh they may be I don't know um but this is a pop signed by Gabriel Iglesias um I do love his stand-up I am a big fan of comedy and uh, Gabriel Iglesias has some great, great, great uh, stand-up specials. Um, I think the classic one is I'm Not Fat, I'm Fluffy. Um, but yeah, it's really cool to have his autograph right there. And not only do I have his, another stand-up comedian who was a big deal in my life was Jeff Dunham here. So Jeff Dunham... Uh, I was laughing my ass off. Peanut is like one of the best characters of his. And of course he's got a little peanut right there. Uh, but yeah, this is signed by Jeff Dunham right here. And I got this from his his shop. So I was very happy to, you know, get that out of the way. Love this right here. Sit you guys over there. This I got from, oh, he was doing some exclusive um, matted and, uh, matted uh, photos and a film cell and he also signed it this is an autograph of the 1990 ninja turtles movie you got the poster and you got this film cell which i'll, I'll go ahead and take this out so you can have no glare on it because i really want to get this professionally framed but i have a decent frame right now but this is this is it right here and it's signed by kevin eastman it's one half of the uh, creation of the Ninja Turtles. So, and um, I wish I had a way to show you guys the the film cell, but um, yeah, it's not gonna come. It's not gonna come through on the camera, unfortunately. But it is a shot of the Shredder uh, when he um, before the final battle happens, and he does that really slow motion land on 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 the screen. Um, so yeah, that's uh, really cool. To have that uh, big influence on you know my childhood as well as the Ninja Turtles next to the Power Rangers the Ninja Turtles were a big big uh, staple of you know the 80s and 90s let's see all right this is a twofer in here I believe if I remember correctly bear with me is there two in here there is two in here all right so this one this is really cool now, especially since the rumors I've heard 
about um, this guy being in the new Spider-Man movie, but we have a signed photo of Willem Dafoe as the Green Goblin right there. So yeah, there's his signature. He is a very, very, very like squiggly signer. He doesn't really do much with his autograph, but it is uh, an in-person signature that uh, someone helped me get. So this was a pretty cool thing to you know, obtain right there. That's a great photo of the Green Goblin right there. Uh, to me, is a classic movie. This movie turns 20 next year, which is nuts. I think it just had its 19th anniversary um, on May 3rd, actually. It came out uh, in 2002, May 3rd. This one right here is actually got an interesting story with this. Um, my cousin for my birthday took me to this really cool toy shop out in Florida and um, they were selling autographs. And I was like, oh, cool. Um, so I asked them how they got these. They said they go to conventions and stuff. And I'm just like, all right, that's pretty feasible. Uh, and ex a great explanation because I do know a lot of these people did go to a convention. So this photo right here was stated to be signed by Jillian Anderson with Jillian Anderson right there. I I've got the mad hots for this girl. I'm sorry, I, I have a huge crush <laughs> on Scully. Um, she's very beautiful, okay? Um, and uh, when it was promoted or sold to me, it said Julian Anderson on the thing. I thought it was pretty cool. And I was like, maybe one day I can get David Duchovny's autograph. But turns out this is actually signed by the creator, Chris Carter. And um, yeah, his autograph's a little bit more expensive <laughs> than Julian Anderson's actually. So I was very surprised to know that I had, you know, Chris Carter's autograph right there. So that's pretty awesome. And I'm very happy to add that as well. Big fan there. All right, I'm gonna deal with that later. <laughs> this next autograph I just recently got it at the Huntsville convention. Um, very nice guy to meet. Uh, that is uh, Jason Marsden. And he was the voice of Max Goof in the Goofy movie right there. So I have this really, really small, <laughs> uh, or it's a frame that's too big. It's a small poster, really nice um, like promotional poster for the movie right there that I got. And, um, and he personalized it right there. It says to Cody, stay goofy. And it's signed by Jason Marsden there. One of the cool things is he was also the voice of Thackeray Binks in Hocus Pocus. So uh, Jonathan actually got a signed picture of Thackeray Binks on that day. So we both got his autograph. We both met him. So it was pretty awesome. Um, I got, now all I've got is photos. And then I'm going to go around the room and show you stuff that I couldn't pull off the walls just to show you guys. Um, so first up, we have this um, photo signed by Mark Summers, the host of Double Dare. This is a photo of when he did, um, what was it, Unwrapped on the Food Network. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. And then right around the corner, it's Mr. Good Burger himself, Kel Mitchell, says, welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger, can I take your order? That is awesome right there. Big fan of Good Burger. Wish I, I, like once I get my room all set up or I actually have my own place at some point, hopefully in the future, that uh, I can actually extend my collection out to where I could like have special sections for certain like things like Nickelodeon. I'd be putting this right next to everything Nickelodeon related. Um, so yeah, there's that. Now we're moving on to the book. This binder here with the really, really crappy uh, electrical tape that has the paint pen that says autographs on it is my autograph binder. So, um, I'm going to try to pull out each one of these and show them off to you. I don't want to ruin them. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do that. We'll just, we'll try our best to show everything off in the best way possible. So this is signed by Val Kilmer here. You guys know I'm obsessed with Batman forever. So of course, uh, I got an interesting story to go along with this one as well. Val Kilmer, um, I actually messaged him on Facebook through his official Facebook page, and he 
loved my story about me and my father and how he took me to go see Batman Forever as a kid and I grew up with Batman. He was my Batman as a kid, had all the toys and um, how it's like one of my favorite memories of my father since he passed away. And uh, Val offered to send an autograph here and he did. He did a really cool photo of uh, Batman as well. So that's really cool. And then right next to it, let's see, is Jim Carrey. Now this one, I know a lot of people ask me how I got this one. Uh, I had a friend of mine help me get this. Um, and I got a photo of my friend getting it signed um, from first person view, unfortunately. But it is Jim Carrey actually signing this photo. So yeah. That's that's awesome. I trust my friend with my life. That is a legit Jim Carrey autograph. I also got Kevin Conroy. Um, he is the voice of Batman in one of the most amazing animated cartoons that us 90s kids grew up with, Batman the Animated Series. And it says to Cody, I am vengeance, I am the knight, I am Batman. And it's signed Kevin Conroy right there. Um, that's great photo of him too as, as the anime series Batman. And I also got Adam West right there who is sadly no longer with us and he signed that right there if you guys can see in the silver sharpie and then I also have another double Val Kilmer, Chris O'Donnell right there which is awesome um, and then I have an obsession with Gotham. Gotham is like one of my favorite uh, TV shows of modern times so I have an autograph collection of just Gotham stuff here. Uh, so I got, uh, you know, um, Sean Pertwee, who played Alfred in, in Gotham. Um, Cameron Beacondova, who played Selena Kyle, uh, Catwoman, right there. And they all wish me happy birthday, because this was a thing where they were just uh, doing a birthday gift, pretty much for me. And uh, I thought that was cool. Same with David Mazus right there. And a little happy birthday message, which is awesome. And he drew a little bat, a little bat at the bottom right there, which is awesome. And then uh, Robin Lord Taylor, the penguin, he drew a little sketch of an umbrella. Now this one I had to obtain <laughs> in other ways. This is Cameron Monaghan's autograph right here. And it's a signed photo of Jerome Valeska after season two, spoiler alert, when he dies for the first time. <laughs> yeah, nobody stays dead in Gotham. Uh, then I also got, this is one of my most recent ones, uh, Lou Ferrigno, the original Incredible Hulk right there. Very cool. So that's awesome. Let's see. What's next? Oh. Uh, Stan Lee, man, rest in peace. This is this was a great addition to my autograph collection right there. I was really happy to have that. And then uh, we have, um, which one's this one? Oh, Cam Clark. Uh, he voiced Leo in uh, Ninja Turtles. Am I, is that Cam Clark? I may be wrong. That may not be Cam Clark. I just know I have all four turtle autographs. It might have been, Town this is Townsend Coleman here. Um, and then we have Barry Gordon right there. I do believe that was Cam Clark. And then of course, Rob Paulson right there, which is also the voice of uh, Yakko Warner in Animaniac. So that was a twofer right there. This is one of my favorites. Peter Weller, Robocop, the original Robocop right there. That is just so awesome. Glad to have that. Then we got Christopher Lloyd, Doc Brown right there. Oh, man. Got that at a convention through a friend of mine. Uh, Veronica Taylor, the voice of Ash from Pokemon in the original Pokemon series right there. Then, this is a great one because you guys know I'm a big, big fan of Saw. We have Jigsaw himself. Tobin Bell, right there. Oh man, that's beautiful. And then right below him, we have Freddy Krueger with a uh, inscription, welcome to my nightmare. It's great. 
And I also have Jamie Kennedy, who was uh, Randy in Scream. So I love that. Tim Curry, this is Beckett authenticated right there. Pennywise the Clown, got the Beckett sticker right there. And I need to put it back in here so it doesn't get lost. There we go. Next up, um, got some Boy Meets World slash Girl Meets World stuff. So here's um, Corey Fogelmanis right there. And William Daniels, who played Mr. Feeney. Love Mr. Feeney. Uh, let's see. Oh, David Dousmockin. He is actually, I got an autograph from him because he was in a very, very important episode of Gotham where he brought Jerome back through the cult that he did. And uh, he's also another character in Ant-Man, the techie guy with the really cool like shades. And he's gonna be playing Polka Dot Man in the new Suicide, Suicide Squad movie soon. So yeah, Matthew Broderick, of course, I had to get an Inspector Gadget photo uh, right there. Let's see, this autograph right here, it's blank. <laughs> Then we have um, we have Mindy Starling, who was Frau Farbizna in uh, Austin Powers. She was also the mean teacher from iCarly. I don't know if people know that. Um, yeah. And then, this is a really cool one. Uh, Paul Freeman, Ivanu's photo right there, I love that. I could have gotten a better photo of Ivanu's for sure, but that was a great photo. The rest of these are pretty much Power Ranger autographs, which I'll show you guys. I have other Power Ranger autographs there in the closet. And I do have one other autograph in there, and I'll put a photo up in just a minute. Uh, it's a Pokemon photo uh, signed by uh, somebody. Uh, it's a poster, sorry, not a photo. A Pokemon first movie, and it's signed by Tara Sands. She was the voice of a few Pokemon characters. I think it was Bulbasaur Clef and Clefairy. Um, she was also the voice of Mokuba in Yu-Gi-Oh! So, yeah, but I do have some autographs here from some Power Ranger actors like Jason Chan and uh, Walter Jones, the original Black Ranger. Um, and then I got some other autographs from a circuit from Time Force. I did this for a friend of mine. It's a signed photo from one of the actresses in the Super Sentai series. Right there. Let's see. Uh, original Rita Repulsa right there, or the voice of Rita. Um, again with Beetleborgs, uh, Marshall Hilton, the face of Less Fortunes, the cartoonist from season two. And then we also have uh, Christopher uh, Cho. He was Nukas, overlord of the second dimension <laughs> from Beetleborgs. And I got another Billy Forrester there. I printed off that photo. It's a really shitty photo, to be honest with you. Uh, then we got Brad Hawkins from VR Troopers, right there. It's great. Blake Foster from Turbo. Uh, Dulcia from the Power Rangers movie, right there. Uh, then we have one half of the Boom Twins, uh, Jim, um, the Gold Ranger, Mike Ginn, which is awesome. Loved RPM. Royce Heron, Miss Appleby, the teacher from Mighty Morphin. And we have Alan Palmer right there. One of the Alien Rangers, I believe the Black Ranger. And <laughs> Will Friedle, he just signed it as Plays with Squirrels, which was really fun. I loved it. So yeah, there's that. Now guys, I'm gonna go ahead and go around the room and show you the things I couldn't pull off the wall. And that will be the end of the autograph collection. So I've showed this one off many times. This is my poster of Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. It's a 27 by 40 poster signed by Jason Mews and Kevin Smith. Jay and Silent Bob. Man, really, really happy I got that autograph. Then over here, I have this signed by the Angry Video Game Nerd. This is when he did his movie. It's a poster. Um, but yeah, there's that. And over here, this is my nearly complete signed poster 
for the cast of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is signed by David Fielding, who played Zordon, Sandy Selner, who was the suit actress for Alpha, so I do need to get um, the voice actor, uh, Amy Jo Johnson, Kimberly, and we have uh, Catherine Sutherland, played Cat, right there. Down here, we got uh, Barbara Goodson, who was the voice of Rita. And back behind here, which you can't see, because we got the Red Ranger helmet in the way, uh, is Kerrigan Mahan and Robert Axelrod's right there. Uh, Lord Zed and Goldar, but you can see the gold Sharpie down there. Uh, Carla Perez, she was in season two and three as the suit actor for Rita. Jason David Frank, the original green and white ranger right there, Tommy. We have Jason Narvi, Skull, and Paul Schreier Bulk right there. So I'm missing Walter here um, and uh, Johnny Young Bosch, Karen Ashley, Steve Cardenas, and Austin St. John, and David Yost. So it'd be nice to get all of them. I'm um, also got some stuff, signed stuff here. Here's that badge that we got signed at the convention. Also got my Power Morphicon badge signed by Felix Ryan, who was Spike in Samurai. There is one more DVD that I forgot that is over here, and I don't even know if I could find it, but I might as well try to look for it while I'm down here. Oh, there it is. To go along with the uh, whole angry video game nerd and... Um, I'm seeing something else over here that's signed. And you can hear my dog. So I have uh, uh, the Nostalgia Critic cast, all their autographs there. So that's pretty awesome. So it's signed by like Doug Walker, Rob Walker, um, their dad and stuff. So that's pretty awesome. And I did forget this and I feel stupid for forgetting it because it is a very important piece in my collection. This is a signed figure of Darkwing Duck signed by Jim Cummings. So. He was the voice of Darkwing, and I'm very happy to have that in the collection. I just totally forgot that I was over here with the Disney stuff. So yeah, there you guys go. My autograph collection. It's crazy. In the room, in the end, I'm still adding stuff to the walls, but yep. There you guys go. So yeah, you guys tell me down below which autograph you thought was the coolest in the collection. And uh, yeah, I will be back in more videos soon. I'll talk to you guys later.